Disappointed after you try to access the parent element this way? Don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to access the parent element in CSS using just CSS without typing any JavaScript. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at the code. You can see that I have a navigation. The result of this code is here. You can see this is a top navigation, and these are some elements. You can see here this is a nav element, this is a UL. In here, I have a bunch of list items inside of each one is a link in CSS I have applied some style to this nothing complicated and you can see here that I have this link it is the active it is the current page I want this link element to be unique from the others to indicate that it is the current page how to do that okay I have this active element I'll go to here I'll say ul active and I'll apply some style like background color white and color black Let's go back to the browser. You can see it is unique from the others. So the problem here is that I have a gap right here. You can see between the bottom of the link and the bottom of the navigation. If I click inspect, I'll close this and I will choose this arrow. You can see this is the list item. It takes the full height, but the A item, the link item doesn't take the full height. So I have to apply this, the background white and the color black to the list item, not to the A link so I have to select the parent element some people might try weird things like they will try to use ul li and reverse the sign trying to indicate to the parent element but you can see here in visual studio code it is complaining because the sign is not allowed in css so you can select the parent element using this code but rather you can use the has sudo element if you don't know css has a sudo element which is has you type colon has parentheses and inside these parentheses i will type this arrow and I will say a dot active simply it means I want to select the list item element that has inside of it the first child is an a element that has the active class and inside of here I can move these properties into here I'll remove this and I'll go back to the browser to see the result you can see here that it takes the full height of the navigation so it is selecting the parent element of the active class but we have a problem here because it doesn't change the color of the a element what i can do is that i will copy this selector to here and tell him that i want to select the a element not the li element so i will move the color property to here save go back to the browser and you can see that the color has changed so that is the way to select the parent element in css and that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have an idea for the next video please type it in the comment section please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one